So it's a, a little bit windy today and I hope you can hear me. I'm sure it's probably windy right into the camera, but uh, I just wanted to talk about this because we've got a uh, storm coming through and I need to pick some tomatoes. And I just wanted to go over some things that I did to be able to increase my production of tomatoes here. Uh, so I'm gonna bring you guys in and I'll show you exactly what I've done. All right, so as you guys can see, I've got a ton of tomatoes and this is something I come out every day and do. I pick all of the ripe ones. All of these are new for today, which is pretty cool. So this one, for instance, is not as ripe as this one, but you really don't want to leave them on too long. Maybe an extra day once they start turning a little bit yellow and that's it. I would say I would wait another day on this and see the big difference there. But of course, this is a little bit more, but there's still some green up there. So I just leave it until all of it is yellow or uh, in this variety, it only gets, this is the darkest red it'll get. Um, it's an orange variety, it's called sun gold. So they get gold, but even these here, these are, these turn red and at this rate, this is where I'm at. So this is where I start picking them because they will ripen on the counter. And I watched a video from the Millennial Gardener and I think I believe him. Uh, he says, you actually don't want to wait for the tomato to be fully ripe because it can crack uh, or get eaten by pests. And so you want to pick them just slightly early, but it does not affect the flavor to have them picked when they're just starting to ripen because once they start to ripen, uh, they will have all the sugars and everything uh, already in them. Uh, being attached to the vine means nothing anymore because I guess they're cut off from the vine. Oh, I almost stripped on a rock. Because they're cut off from the vine at that point and unable to get any nutrients anyway from the vine past that point. So, it is best to pick them, keep pests from getting to them and give you a better harvest so you don't get like holes in your tomatoes. So these are all different varieties. Uh, it might seem like, oh wait, uh, I'm picking this color. Why am I not picking that one? That one's actually this variety. So see, it's a little green at the top, uh, but still red. This one turns red. So this is a super sweet 100. This is a sweetie. Both of these are red types. And then this is the gold. Uh, this one's gold and right behind it is the gold. So any gold on those two, I'm picking. See all those on the ground down there, guys? All of them fall. Um, and if you wait to pick, they're gonna get knocked off by critters uh, eating at them or wind blowing and it'll knock it off. And then once it's on the ground, it's pretty much, I wouldn't eat it. This is just today, four plants only, and I got at least a clamshell or more of grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes, okay? Which, that's a lot of production uh, on, on the daily. This is every day I come out and I pick about this amount. Okay, I've got too many to even eat. My daughter loves them, she just eats them like candy, but uh, they're, they're still not all, all used up. Oh, I missed one. You know, we still got a bunch on the counter. Uh, but this is daily. This is just four plants, four cherry tomato plants, and I'm getting a lot of production. So when it comes to cherry tomatoes especially, this can ring true for even some beef steaks and uh, larger tomatoes, but a lot of these are very high production plants. They will produce a ton of uh, fruit, and you can see all through here. I mean, there's, there's fruit everywhere, okay, all forming. Some of them are almost all formed and some are forming more, but you can see they're just it's riddled through here. And they just, they produce a lot. And the production isn't hindered by having more than one stock. A lot of people will grow tomatoes and they will just have one stock from the bottom all the way up to the top. And if you do that, you are jipping yourself on more production and let me show you why so if you notice here when i started this off i waited and then i i left one 
Okay, so I, I was really particular on what I did here. This might be a better example because I only did two in the beginning. So I let this grow up as two uh, main stalks, basically. I left one of the uh, suckers and let this grow up as two main stalks. And then once it reached about here, I just didn't care anymore and I left it, okay? Which, if you look, each of these are now producing more stalks. This is a, this is a new uh, sucker. And if you look, these are all tomato fruits that I have already picked, okay? Now I've got more coming out of here. Same thing here. That's the main stock right here, okay? And I've got one, two, three sets of uh, tomatoes coming off that. But then the side shoot, I've got now one, two, already on that coming out. On this side shoot, I've got another big group of tomatoes coming out uh, over here on this side shoot I've already picked a whole bunch right here but you can see one there but there was a whole bunch there and that's the thing you're 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 missing out on a whole lot of production if you do that so again main we've got a dual stock right if I left this as one we would get one I think there was one down there so one two three would have gotten is six sets of these types of things for tomatoes and that's all i would have gotten up the whole stock so i've got 13 instead of the seven i think i said so that's doubling up my production let's look at this one this one's a little more drastic so again dual okay but i let then this one grow i let another sucker here grow okay i let that was dual i let another sucker here and that split into another sucker going up that way. So in this one, I've got multiple main branches. I got one, two, three, basically. And then I got side shoots coming off. And check this out. This side shoot has one set and it's forming two and three more sets. So actually this one's, this one's almost a double set right there. Okay, so it's got these coming out. So that's forming more okay so that's that's three right there if i didn't let that that's three sets of tomato i don't even know what you would call this but a raise <laughs> i don't know uh coming off and excuse this i'm starting to get a little bit of disease it is hot here so these plants are a little stressed i'm kind of falling in on each other i gotta gotta help that a little bit here's a whole another branch coming off okay this is the main stem i got one I got two, okay? But check this out, this is a whole one. So there's one set, two sets, three sets. Uh, there's another one forming, four sets, five sets. That came up, and there was another set up there, six sets of tomato uh, sets, basically, um, starting. Just on that, if I didn't let that grow, I would be missing out on all that. So that's what I do. And now when it comes to beef steaks, maybe not quite as much as this. You might want to just put into two stems. Of course, depends on how you're growing them, but I find putting two plants next to each other in a four foot bed like this gives me a little room to put some flowers like I've got here. It gives me, there's flowers over there. I got marigolds. There's a beef steak. There's a purple Cherokee. By the way, the leaf curl is from the heat, um, just so you know. But uh, I've got two of them here, and then I've got some basil growing. Uh, two there. I've got some onion growing, and two over there. So I mean, in this whole eight foot by four foot bed, I've got eight plants. Not I'm not packing them together. Um, leaves me room to be able to plant some other stuff, and then I still get the same amount of production. Check this out. So this one, it's a big plant. Uh, look at that, it almost looks like a tree. Um, it's coming up and then it splits into two and then it splits into three. So there's three, but then we've got branches now and I just let it kind of do its thing. It looks all messy, but I mean, I've got production coming out of this thing like crazy, okay? And that's all because I just kind of let it start to do its thing. Of course, at that point, you want to make sure you're feeding it. So you want to put a lot of fertilizer in the ground because now we've got a lot more vegetation for it to grow. So it needs nitrogen, it needs phosphorus, it needs potassium. 
it, it needs all that. Um, so you want to give it extra fertilizer if you're going to allow it to kind of grow out like that. In the summer here, except for today, it's nice and cool because the storm's coming through. But in the summer, generally, we're hitting 100 degree days. So we've got very little time to get production out of these from spring right after the frost which is pretty early it's it's uh march early march is the last day of frost um and then we've got until about now i would say end of june before we're hitting 100 degree days every day which is too much for these and so they'll start to slow production which means that i'm gonna have to probably rip these out pretty soon and then replace them with more tomato plants towards the a little bit towards the tail end of summer here being that it's a short time i i'm trying to rush this and get as much production out of it as possible and that's what this does you're you're giving it so many more branches to be able to produce more and uh, you just keep them spread out a little bit more but you're getting more production out of each plant so in reality there's less to maintain less to worry about and also you're you're end up getting more production i think than you would if i was to put three or four plants in a row and have them trained up in one one branch you guys let me know what you guys do um, if you do this or if you don't or if you have reasons against doing this thanks for watching everyone if you guys like this kind of content please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates also if you could hit the like button it would really help me and the channel out i will see you on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind